Yeah, go spring summer 20 of course you know me big dem the fanboy um i thought this was probably one of their strongest seasons as to date so far i've been a big fan of some of the suiting they've been putting out some of the tailoring has been super amazing um they switched up the shoes this time around there's a lot of motocross inspired trainers um which kind of goes away from some of the track shoes they've done in the past or some of the stuff that i have like this and the triple s as well they're kind of moving away from that sort of vibe and kind of moving more towards the kind of you know slimmer sleeker more square toed foot uh collaborations a bit of a lot of the square toed shoes coming in a few seasons so far i think i might have seen maybe martin rose start that um square toed kind of loafer sort of like african uncle look right there's kind of dolston loafers that used to get back in dolston market back in the day um but yeah, so far I think it's maybe their strongest collection so far. I'm a real big fan of it. Um, here's here's the Vogue Runway uh, review from one Sarah Moa, as per usual. This is a kind of review I'll quickly read out that kind of kind of eschews what I'm speaking or what, you know kind of expounds on some of the things I'm talking about. Um, it says the following: um, Fashion people are constantly uh, racking their brains about what makes fashion relevant. Uh, but there's no one like Demna uh, for ushering an audience into a situation where the state of the world affairs can bite so viscerally. He set his Balenciaga spring collection in a political arena, a fur Balenciaga parliament or assembly, which he convinced, which he convened to investigate the subject of power dressing and fashion uniforms, which was really cool. It kind of looked like some UN assembly hall. You know, those kind of big circle rooms where people are sat in circles and they all speak and they have those little headsets on and listen to kind of other leads around the, uh, around the European Union speaking and stuff. It looked, it looked kind of similar to that. Very, very interesting. Everyone had lanyards on that malarkey too. So there we sat in an auditorium. Devlin had pointed uh, had pointed smooth, smoothly, uh, wall to wall in coloured, in colour not off uh, the blue of the EU flag to view his socio design study of the structure of today's dress codes. Senior delegates, women and men in tailoring, a severe anonymous idea, uh, identical suited corporate presence opened the show. Who were they? On the breast pockets were embroidered badges two disc uh, biscuits with Balenciaga logo construct or not dissimilar to the Mastercard design. I love, I love these little flips he does on the whole, that's that's where this East Street accessibility come in, taking, you know, corporate brand logos, flipping them and using them in his own sort of way. Uh, then came what uh, them called the campaign dresses. We looked at pictures of women politicians and of what they were wearing in the campaign. We took this type of tailoring. They were they, dread, they wear dresses and try to make it cool. Not an easy challenge, to be honest, he said. The solution was to make them more boxy and cocoony, which is quite Balenciaga. So many body types can wear it. Democratic and easy to wear volume, which I'm a big fan of, of course. All the while, the bombastic, pounding, semi-militaristic horror movie soundtrack essentially filled the space, mixed by Lot Gomez, uh, Dem and his partner. The cast of characters, they were named in the show. Notes of the doctors, lawyers, galleries, engineers, where professional models kept it on coming. The closer you looked, the more you saw the protostatically augmented jutting of cheekbones and blow up lips it was a subtle terrifying it was honestly cool that's the thing, that's the thing he does right he get his partners to do the soundtrack he's got all these interesting models cast on the runway which again i think is something i mentioned previously in another episode about casting there's a lot of that shit casting in fashion nowadays that you know when you harken back to days of comme des garçons especially sometimes in the 80s when you know um Alexander mcqueen walked the show there was very there's a lot of interesting people walking the shows you look at some of the notes and you see oh that guy's an interior designer that guy's an architect da, 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 da. nowadays it's always the same so especially in milan you get the same fucking you know skinny models walking down the runway and it's you know there's nothing wrong with it but just make it more interesting i'm not necessarily for the whole plus size models you know um being fully embraced on the runway i'm not so sure, sure that's the answer either but it has to be a middle ground where you're somehow able to show the actual woman that buys your thing day to day in the actual that's that's the main beef i had with vetema and benciago when they were first churning out you know runway collection after runway collection full of just you know his friends right that were all kind of you know super white there was nothing wrong with it but the reality of it was after just the first season it was very clear that the people that loved valenciaga that liked Betema and Balenciaga when he was designing it were Asian people and black people, right? They were the main people that were kind of driving that brand forward, right? And really kind of buying it up. So why not have those people reflected on the runway? They didn't necessarily get it, right? Um, but over time, they understood and they kind of got brown to it and they were able to kind of, you know, readjust the balance. But some of the brands don't necessarily do that. They tend to always kind of, it's odd that you'd see in an, uh, another one, maybe Baluti. Maybe Baluti is a good one where they'll have models on the runway that are like, you know, under 22 and they can't, they can't afford anything in that store. But the actual guy that buys it isn't necessarily affected on the runway, which is odd. But I guess in their, in their, uh, in their defense, they would probably argue that none of their actual customers that shop in the show, in the, in the, in the show, in the um, boutique would actually view a runway collection show, right? They'll just wait for the lookbook to come out 
and get sent to them by post. I don't know, whatever, I don't know what it is. But anyway, let's continue. Um, relevance in Demna's mind is equal part sharp observation of what people wear and a focus on creating something that somehow relates back to the heritage of Christopher Balenciaga. Agree. So again, this is this is where he's expert merchandising, business acumen, and just you know being able to design clothes as a kind of you know gen a way to generate money, right? It kind of comes into it where he's able to take something as you know lofty as Balenciaga and just kind of bring it down, democratize it, make it um, commoditize it in some way, shape, or form, right? Be able to kind of just give it to you, right? But it also still have that that sense of luxe, that sense of appeal, that kind of draw that you kind of really really want to see people. You want people to know that you've got that thing on so that's a very very particular skill that takes us to the um uh, uh crino line dresses right at the end almost a child's carbon fantasy in their bouncy silhouettes born just as go back to the beginning of Balenciaga when Cristobal started in Spain it's mostly his type of silhouette he did with Spanish paintings got sort of a demo observed but he wanted to make them make sure they were wearable if you take out the, the cyrilline you have a sort of goth dress in the middle there was a dynasty era section with huge shoulders um what were 22 avatars we felt the fear of god look so let's look at some of the clothes enough of the review now but I, I, there was so much good stuff here that i was a big fan of but yeah look at some of the clothes again the tailoring i'm a big i love the boxy suits i love the again i love the square toed shoes now that they're kind of you know um going towards again there was a lot of Mart martin rose a few seasons a few teams in the back kind of did that i think it might be the club the collection that she done when the models were running walking through the street that was there. i saw a lot of square toed shoes in that way again the suits are really great look amazing on massive kind of blazers i'm not really a fan of the short sleeve suit personally myself but you know Beggars can't be choosers. If I got one, I'll, I'll be down with it. I love what he did with the cheekbones. It's sort of like the prosthetics, right? Added in. Sort of like, again, I think some special effects there done. So a lot of really sharp cheekbones there. Um, some women got some blow up lips as well. Again, the MA1 jacket, the bomber. You know, is anyone that does a better bomber than Demna really at the moment in fashion? I don't think so. Um, so again, some nice shapes, good silhouettes, great bags. Jackets are always incredible. Exaggerated shoulders. Here you see the blow up lips I'm talking about, right? Um, you got the kind of you know the weird sort of Balenciaga. Sorry, the Bla the Balenciaga Mastercard logo flip, which is a great look as well. Um, great suiting as per usual. Nice bags, the color combinations are always great. I'm always a sucker. It's something I always do all the time. I always kind of steal the color kind of palettes of runway shows and apply them to my own wardrobe. It's always easy to do. Like if you've got something like this in your wardrobe and you've got some nice black boots, you know, you, you know what to do straight away. But again, she was one of my favorite models. I'm not sure who that model was. Oh, that's her name here. Tanya Katsiva. Tanya Kachiva, she she looked fucking incredible. She was really, if you saw a walk, she was super, super more, super goffy and moody looking. I love how they added these kind of like, you know, uh, bags under her eyes, right? Like she's been up all night, kind of securing deals and you know, running back and forth from the fax machine and coming. But I mean, just like I just love it. It just looks really, really real. Um, again, you got this amazing grey suit, really big and boxy, just incredible incredible looking stuff i'm a big big fan of it i love all of it you know the dresses that blanchard do right i'm really surprised that someone like maybe he's he's moved on now young fuck but that would have been a good era for young fuck to be wearing those i know he wore did he wear molly goddard before young fuck he might have but i think the blanchard kind of flow dress would look really good on someone like a young fuck i think he'll, he'd, he'd rock that super cool but again some great silhouettes great suits great long jackets again the black coats are awesome some nice jeans, some big boots. Some of the these derby shoes are really nice too. They remind me a little bit of the Prada boots that came out a while back ago. I think they might have been my favorite collection. It might have been 2004, winter 2011, 2010, when they had this sort of like preppy, sort of like get Ivy sort of style collection that had these really amazing boots that I was a big fan of. They remind me a little bit of that. Again, some nice black boots, some nice black trench coats that are pleated, looks like, right? Pleated, was that pleated or what would you say that is? Pretty are folded. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Isimiyaki. See, see the, the shoes I'm talking about? They're really nice, kind of Oxford boots, like really massive, chunky sole protruding out. Again, the long sleeves are just incredible, exaggerated sleeves, and nice shades there too. That will probably be a big, big draw this coming season. They do always do good shades in that regard. Just an incredible, again, collection. You can't really deny it. Great casting as per usual. And just overall, just incredible. I love this. This is one of my favorite looks. This leather look is incredible. This leather biker jacket cinched at the waist. It sort of looks like a dress a little bit, right? It could. Always, someone's definitely going to wear that dress one, one of those fashion girls. Like, so good. And massive leather trousers with a zip on the side. Just incredible, incredible, incredible stuff. Just such a big fan of all of it, man. Like, look, look at the detail. Oh, so gorgeous. 
the big pearly earrings lovely comes in white as well black leather jacket great denim suit great tracksuit as per usual they always do awesome tracksuits um, some of it reminds you of some of the old Lecoq Sportif tracksuits as well very subtly done some nice piping you know um, single colour maybe two or three colours max good colour blocking great materials great shape this, the, the tracksuits are very very underrated I know they're probably not as flashy as maybe Gucci tracksuits for some guys but I, I'm surprised some people that more road men don't wear Balenciaga tracksuits they look really really good I think personally they look really good especially the European wear with like Air Maxes and stuff this, this plaid suit looks really cool too um, there are these really amazing long sleeve shirts that had um, Balenciaga written on it and all the A's were basically at so quite cool as well and this is the first look of the new trainers here um, so it's sort of like um, for those listening via podcast like it's sort of it's got tires in the front it's basically a motocross shoe or boot basically in a low um, it looks very very you know morphed and warped and stuff and it, it probably probably feels a lot more like a boxing boot very low profile square toed um so i'm interested to see what it's going to look like in real life or you know up close more kind of detailed picture i'm sure we'll be able to find them on instagram maybe soon a nice sort of hto t-shirt i'm sure these shoes are going to fly out here's another image of the of the actual shoe itself there loads of the uh, of the models walking down with um iphones in their hands a lot of great track pants too um, some detailed shots there too. See that HGO t-shirt there. What was that earring he's got on his ear? I can't see. That's a paperclip as well. Okay, awesome. They're carrying an iPhone in their hand as well. That was quite cool to see. Probably going to be another collaboration there. Another iPhone case to check out. Great big shoulders. Another great look there as well. And they've got, they've got some awesome motocross jeans too that I'm a big fan of on there too. Again, just an amazing collection overall. I really want you to check it out. One of my favorites so far from Balenciaga. I'm not going to bother going through the entire thing. They've got a massive crocodile of the veil, like a massive code. I'm sure all the Korean boy bands are going to be all absolutely all over. That's definitely up there in their kind of realm possibility. These massive coats that look amazing. These coats remind me of. Do you remember there was that meme on, on Instagram where everyone was kind of, you know, making um, influencers' jackets super big when winter came around? Because, you know, influencers tend to kind of just wear the biggest coats possible to kind of get those looks off on the gram. And there was a thing where everyone was kind of wearing blow up, blow up, blow up jackets. That was cool. So I think we're going to see a lot more of that going forward. Um, what else is there? Loads of suits, loads of suits. But yeah, good stuff all around. Big fan of it. Recommend you check it out. Balenciaga Spring Summer 2020. Again, these dresses are so beautiful. One of my favorite collections so far. From then, oh, Gigi looked amazing, and she fucking—I mean, sorry, Bella smashed it this season, man. She was maybe the hottest model out in the runway this season. She was everywhere and looked incredible in every flipping show she was on. So yeah, big up her. Supposed to be Lotta isn't design isn't um Lotta Valkova isn't styling Balenciaga anymore. So I wonder who's doing it nowadays. Maybe it's them not doing it himself, but I suppose he's not, she's not doing it anymore. But yeah, um. Great collection so far. I recommend you check it out. Some great looks in there. Um, all things considered. <laughs>